our first guest is one of America's most talked about moms. Coco Austin is the proud wife of actor and rapper Ice-T. They've been together for 23 years, and she, of course, is the mom of one of the most adorable kids, six-year-old Chanel. I love this family. So Coco is a successful actress, model, entrepreneur. Her companies have included a clothing line, lingerie, workout apps, and more. However, it is her openness about motherhood that has kept her in the headlines lately. Posts about her own child have gone viral with seemingly everyone wanting to chime in. The latest one, Coco posted a video of six-year-old Chanel taking a bath in the kitchen sink. <laughs> Cute, right? Well, people had something to say about that. She was also judged with how long she chose to breastfeed her child. People also judged how long she was keeping her own daughter in a stroller. And if you're a mother, you understand that stroller is a weapon. And sometimes you need to use it no matter their age. Well, in this daytime exclusive, Coco Austin is here to talk about it all, including the realities of being a mom, raising a child in the public eye. Tan fam, we are catching up with Coco. Please welcome Coco Austin! <laughs> to the show. Thank you. I have something to say. Uh oh, go hey, ahead. Hey, Tam fam. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've been, so this is my fourth season and I have been wanting you on as a guest for every single season because I really know you have a lot to say. But we have some breaking <laughs> news to start off with, guys. First of all, breaking news. Okay. Chanel yeah. is now acting. Well, not She's quite. auditioning? She, she's not quite yet. She just auditioned for you know, a prestigious agency here in New York City. Oh my God. Yeah, you have to audition for these agencies to be accepted. Even if in. you're Ice T's baby. Even I <laughs> no, I wanted them to not give me any acceptance. I wanted to really play by the book. Yeah, you know. But. I've known Ice for a long time. Mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of meeting you at an mm -hmm. event um, at NYU once, and it's so intriguing because I didn't know this till the other day. Finn is the longest running character in TV history. Mm -hmm. Black actor. Black <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've been together 23 years. That's a long journey. Yes. Many business opportunities have come your way. Mm -hmm. You've watched yourself grow. You've watched the man you fell in love with grow. Is it uh -huh. surreal? Is this life what you planned? Is it what you thought it'd no, be? No, definitely. It's very surreal. But you know what? We started so decades. We've been together over two decades. And it's What's really the secret? To be each other's cheerleader. I love that. That's, that's what really the secret is. If you're not that person, they're going to find another cheerleader to egg you on through life. Oh, God. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it really, you got to hear them out, listen, be patient. Yeah. I feel like understanding, compassion, and, and that's another thing why people don't know much about me. They just see me as like this model, you know, yeah. this model chick. You know, that's why I feel like they've had it out for me from the day one when I got into the picture, like when I was 22 years old. Wow. And uh, they're like, oh yeah, this chick, she's gonna be around for like two months, this yeah. buxom blonde, who's yeah. she? They saw the boobs, they saw the blonde hair, and they're like, oh, we gotta label her mm -hmm. right off the bat. Would you have labeled you if you walked in a room and didn't know you? Um, no, because I'm actually a really, really sweet person. That's you are. I, I feel like any of those haters, if they were to spend like 30, if give me 30 minutes with them, I would change their minds about me. You know, you are so private, even though you and I had a daytime show together, mm -hmm. you had a reality show, yeah. you have posed in magazines, mm -hmm. some covered, some mm -hmm. not, but you are a very private person, especially lately. Was that right. motherhood? Actually, this is my first time I have been on a TV show for like quite some time. I know, I've you took a break. I've been hiding, yeah. I've been hiding, yes. Hiding ever why? Because ever since I had Chanel, I wanted to just focus on Chanel and not the entertainment world. Yeah. They will eat you alive. They will, no matter what. And I didn't want to be a part of that. You know, the only way you're going to see me, because I'm not on my talk show or I'm not on my reality show no longer, the only way you're going to follow me is through social media, Instagram, now on TikTok. Uh, that's the only way you're going to see yeah. me. So I think that's why people follow me with a microscope 
because they're watching every detail of Chanel. Now, I wanted to lay low. I wanted to be that mother. I want to be full hands-on. I don't have nannies. I don't have babysitters. I am always with Chanel. I'm taking her everywhere. It's just something in my heart. You yeah. did not start your journey into even trying until you were 35. Five, I 35. Think? So 35. I had her at 36. You had her at 36. So you mm -hmm. and I decided at what point you wanted to be a mom. I didn't want kids. You did not. I didn't. I didn't want kids. My career was too important for me. You know, I was I was so anal about being successful and being who I wanted to be so young because my my family didn't have money. And when you don't have money as a ch child, you strive to be successful. Yeah. Like, you don't care what's in your way. I don't want kids. I don't want anything. But I'm going to strive to be that person, and no matter what it takes. Mm -hmm. And so I told myself, well, I'll get to 35, and I'll kind of have a conversation with myself. I already knew that when I get 35, he's, he's like, really prepared. He wanted to have, you know, he, he was ready. What's the he age difference between you and 21. 21 year difference? Yep, 21 years old. And he ha already had children. Um, yes, he has, from older children. he has older children from mm -hmm. prior relationships. Yes. I met his youngest son when we were at NYU. Right. Little he's Ice. In, right, and he's Little, in his 30s. He's now. in his 30s. Right. So here mm -hmm. you have a 20 plus year age difference, which, mm -hmm. by the way, my parents were 20 plus years apart as well. Yes. Little Ice, who's now grown Ice, yes. is 30 years old, and you're thinking, wow, yeah. it's time for us. Well, I said, you know what, if it's meant to be, God will make it happen, and there we go. So I was on the pill for 17 years. Uh huh. Well, I guess it was in the cards because two months later, I became pregnant. Wow. And I was like, someone's watching over me. This is meant to be. And Did you take a test at home? So I felt something going on internally, like I'm having dreams. I'm like, I kind of feel something's going on. Didn't tell Ice. I went and I got the, you know, the pregnancy test, um, did it in my bathroom. And when I took it, I had like, it had like a smiley face and then a non-smiley, you know, like those little, <laughs> and uh, it, it came out smiley face. And I was like, I was like, I started shaking. I was like, oh, oh my God, let's do another one. Let's do another oh. one. So I took another one and that came out positive. I was like, oh my God, I don't even know how to tell Ice about this because I, we were expecting it to be a year later, not two months. Yeah. So um, I told him and he was like, take another one. I was like, I already did, <laughs> I already did. I already have three. So it was, it was meant to be. Yeah. And did he's you like, cry? he's like, I know I, I would do that too. He, he, now it's, he thinks it's him, not me. Oh, okay. He's like, I told you, I'd make a baby through a brick wall. Oh, gosh. I'd make a baby through a brick wall. I'm like, <laughs> it has nothing to do with me, I guess. <laughs>